Guess what I'm working on, frugal friends? Oh yes, it is time to do some bottling. Not 100% sure yet what I'm making, but I've got the apriums, also known as pluots, and the rest of the cherries. And then in the fridge, I've got the pineapple and the watermelon from uh, that load of food that my neighbor brought to me. Then I've also, from my amazing in-laws, got peaches, cucumbers, cucumbers, green beans, and tomatoes. And so uh, we're gonna be doing some bottling. I don't know yet exactly what I'm bottling. What am I making? It remains to be seen. <laughs> we're gonna get creative. I got down my hand-me-down crock pot, my big one, my cherry stoner, a fabulous investment that I made a few years ago. I've bought a bunch more of the um, canning jar lids. And these are a different kind. Um, this is my, my attempt at frugality here. It's an eight pack of reusable lids. Have you ever used the reusables? I'm nervous, to be honest, because they're not what I'm used to. But um, I keep talking about being frugal and that's what we're focusing on. So um, we're gonna give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Woo, and then I have all of these lids that um, are from dumpster diving and hand-me-downs and from um, when we helped clean out uh, a woman's house that had passed away. None of them have been used. They're all brand new. But I also uh, bought some more Sure Gel. I've got my hand-me-down canner with rack and I've got time. So let's jump in and see where we end up and what we end up making. Note. To self, dark cherries stain. <laughs> I'll wear gloves next time, but the cherries are now all pitted. Guys, can you grow a cherry tree from the seeds from your store-bought cherries? Or in our case, gifted to us store cherries. Is that possible? Will it be the same cherries uh, that, that you were eating? I know with certain different fruits, with different seeds, if you grow the seed, it's not going to be the same thing because of like, I don't know, grafting and hybriding and other things that I'm not an expert at. So please tell me in the comments, do you know, can you grow, this would be yet another frugal opportunity. You guys know we have done this in the past, growing seeds from things that we have um, salvaged. But anyway, can we grow this same cherry from one of these cherry seeds? Okay, thanks. Got all that juice. Oh. So I was just looking up recipes and then I remembered, wait a minute, my in-laws also gave me some seedless blackberries. So I looked up another recipe. This one is cherry blackberry jam. And that, frugal friends, is what we're going to make first. Making preserves, you will use so much sugar. This time, with this jam, I am going to remember to skim off the foam. Forgot to do that last time. It matters. Okay, so I've got three jars, the little pint-sized jars of that in there. And then I'm starting this batch, and this one is blackberries, cherries, and um, pluots, or apriums. They're a plum apricot mix. And this time I'm using the less sugar sure gel but i'm also adding in a little bit of butter because it said it should help with like the foaming and stuff i'm not going to blend this one up i'm only mashing it the last batch uh, i went ahead and ran it all through the blender and made it really smooth but this one is going to be a more chunky fruity well it's gonna have more <laughs> more chunks to it hopefully it turns out All right, today we are going to use up the rest of the fruit that my neighbor brought us, pineapple and watermelon, and I'm gonna go and pick some grapes and we'll see what we end up with. I've been looking at a lot of recipes. I'm still not 100% decided on what we're gonna do. I'm also out of sugar right now, so what I might do is just make the juice portion of like jelly, do all the straining overnight, and pick up sugar tomorrow to make these into some jellies. 
I haven't decided for sure yet. Okay, I'm probably going to need a bigger pan, bigger pot, but I am so excited. So what I'm making is pineapple compote, which includes rum. <laughs> Woo! And it uses brown sugar, which I happen to have on hand and happens to be ah, dumpster salvaged. It doesn't get much better than that. So, yes. <laughs> oh, it's going to be yummy. It's going to be so yummy. All right, got to jump in and get this going. Okay, so I've got the brown sugar in there and the pineapple juice, just a touch of water to get enough. I just poured the juice from here. And then it calls for lime juice, and I happen to have a couple of fresh limes that need to be used. I've got my lime squeezer. This I bought a couple years ago, but I also have, some of you will rec uh, recognize, my Diamond Sharp a little paring knife that we found in one of the pharmacy dumpsters. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and uh, squeeze all the juice into the pan. Then we're supposed to simmer that and then eventually add it to the pineapple. I'm adding just a spot of lemon juice uh, for preservation. The lime will probably do it on its own, but just to be safe, I am going to use the lemon. I don't plan on having this stored for very long. I want to use it uh, later this fall in like, I don't know, with some pies, maybe over some cheesecake. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, just a little bit of lemon juice. This would be so much easier in like a food processor, but I'm working out. <laughs> All right. I drained some more of the juice since I had been mashing the pineapple. I don't want it to be over watery or over liquidy. So I've got some fresh pineapple juice over there. Probably just drink it. There's not enough to do much else with. And then I've poured in the mixture. So we're supposed to bring it to a simmer and let it simmer for like 15 minutes before we add cornstarch and rum. All right, I've got the rum and the vanilla. I only use the good stuff, the real stuff from Mexico. Anytime we go down, I pick some up, but obviously I'm running low. So I'll probably pick some up at Christmas. We are planning, hoping to go visit my brother down in Arizona uh, for Christmas. So great time to hop over the border. If you get the chance to get real Mexican vanilla, do it. Oh, it is so yummy and it makes a world of difference. So this is going to be pretty boozy. I'm wondering how much of the alcohol content will cook out because <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't indicate that you should cook and cook and cook it after you add this stuff in. But, uh, I don't want to be the only one able to eat this. Well, I mean, James could eat it too, I guess. He's he's not much into drinking very much, very often. Um, oh, it smells so good. So I might cook it down a little bit just to cook out the alcohol content so that everybody can enjoy it. Be cool to, like, keep a little bit aside and have that as the mommy kind, and then keep the rest for everybody else. Nothing lasts forever, frugal friends. I'm afraid we have come to a crossroads, the end of an era. I have had this plastic popcorn bowl that I bought at Walmart in their summer collection about 20 years ago. <laughs> Actually, probably a little bit longer because I bought it, uh, I think right before I got married the first time or shortly thereafter. So, it's been, a, it's, well, yeah, 19 or 20 years, I guess. Don't make me do math. It has missing pieces and cracks, and I think it's just about there. I think so. It breaks my heart. I have so many memories, good, bad, otherwise, of this bowl, and it has been so handy. Now, I'm not getting rid of it right away. I'm going to finish doing all of my um, bottling and things like that because it comes in really handy. And when you're just like throwing in peelings and seeds and stuff, you know, it works just fine. But this, uh, this will be its, its, uh, but this will be its last tour of duty. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Midsummer Murders playing in the background. I have cut up some cucumbers that needed to be eaten. Um, snacking on those today and they'll be ready for when the kids get home. I've got the celery that my neighbor brought me. I've got some peppers that I bought that need to be used, some onions I bought that need to be used, and all of these fabulous garden tomatoes from my mother-in-law. So what I'm gonna make is, um, it's just like a recipe and I will be including all of the recipes this time since everyone has asked but it's a recipe for just tomato, uh, tomatoes and vegetables that you can mix into soups or um, sauces, put it in like your slow cooker with your, your beef or your pork or whatever. Anyway, um, not the cucumbers, those are just for snacking, but the celery, the onions, the peppers, the tomatoes, and then assorted spices, hopefully all of which will be spices that we salvaged. So time to get this stuff cooking and uh, bottled going to boil the tomatoes. Then I've got ice. I'm going to ice bath them after they've just um, been, what's the word? Not poached, not scorched. <laughs> what is the word? Oh, this is driving me crazy. Anyway, they're just going to get cooked just enough to be able to peel them easily. And then I've chopped up the peppers. Unfortunately, I was too late on some of the tomatoes and on the peaches that my mother-in-law gave me. I've been doing so much, well you guys know, deep cleaning, hello, and other projects and other bottling. And there was just no way to keep up with all of them, especially with school going, et cetera, et cetera. But at least we're getting this done. And guys, that is so important. It is absolutely vital, frugal friends, that you celebrate your victories. I do tend to fall into the trap so often of focusing on what I can't do or didn't do or couldn't get done or didn't get done rather than focusing on what I do get done and what I have gotten done and what I am able to do. It's so important. If you think about all the things that need to be done and how there's just not enough time and you, whatever, you will get overwhelmed. This happens to me often. Overwhelmed, it's too daunting, and then you just don't even start one bite at a time, one success at a time, and celebrate each and every one of them. Speaking of which, I think I'm gonna have another cup of coffee. Caffeinated, real coffee. I got a bit excited. I've got the blood to stop flowing, but I, I sliced open my finger there. I'm gonna keep this pressure applied. Luckily, it did not get into any of the veggies. So, hey, there's that. I have a terrible history with knives and knife accidents. <laughs> My kids are always telling me if they see me using a knife, they're like, Mom, be careful. I've decided I'm going to leave one of the onions, mostly just to save my eyes and my sinuses. <laughs> and this is more onions than we need for what we're making, so I will freeze some. I have a little bit of room in the freezer. I'm gonna chop up uh, some of these even smaller to go in the stuff we're making, but save the rest to snack on along with the cucumbers and some of the celery. I have chopped up the tomatoes after blanching them, then peeling them. And now I just need to start measuring and getting this cooking. I diced up some more of the peppers. The recipe did not end up using hardly any of the vegetables I chopped. It said that like, if you used more than the recipe called for, it'd mess up like the pH or some nonsense. So I uh, went ahead and diced those. Those will go in the freezer. These will go in a snack bag to go in the fridge. Not sure about the celery. Um, probably freeze it or put it into something else that I'm thinking of making. I don't know, we'll see. So there's not even enough really for like one jar, maybe a pint jar. So instead of doing that, I'm going, instead of like processing and all that, I am going to just put this into a jar and put it in the fridge after it's con uh, finished cooking and cooling down and it'll just have to go into a meal, well, this week. Look at all these fabulous grapes. I have been resting and resting using tons and tons of my dumpster salvaged itch relief. 
and prescription itch relief and separating grapes because I am tired of just sleeping with the um, anti-itch medicine. It's time to get to all this. I fought out there with the wasps to get all this fruit. So time to do something with it. Admittedly, I've eaten like five handfuls of these as I have been working, but that's like, that's the reward. So here's the purple ones, these are the Concords. And then I've got all these and I, I separated them as I was picking them because I had thought about doing different, like um, some of this kind and some of the other, having them separate this time. But turns out the family loves the mixed variety in the jelly that I made. So we're gonna go ahead and go with mix. All right, there's the first pressing of two pans of the lighter colored grapes. Can't for the life of me remember what these are called, but I will look it up before I post this. Next, we will be uh, taking the first pressing of the Concord grapes. I've still got the others um, draining overnight. But this is what I have so far of the mixed juice. I will strain it again tomorrow before making it into jellies and, well, and some juice concentrate as well. Remember these gorgeous blue jars? I think I found them in like a public school dumpster. Pretty sure that's where it was. So excited to finally be using them. Smells so good. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we didn't do much with our grapes last year and so much of that crop went to waste. Not this year, frugal friends. No, 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 no. I might actually run out of bottles this year. We still have peaches. This whole bucket and the bags with it. This box of peaches, these are the ones my husband went and picked after I got attacked by the wasps. And this bucket of peaches. These are the ones that were the most ripe and the most fabulous looking. They were from one of the volunteer trees that I planted. Yeah, look how yummy. Oh, ooh. So I'm finding that the butter, when you add butter in, it definitely does help with the foam. I am gonna let it cool for a few minutes just so that any foam, you can see there's some, that it will go ahead and gather at the top and then I can skim that off. And then, and then we get started filling these gorgeous bottles. Mariah asked if we could have some of the juice as just juice. So this is the juice that's left over and it will be going in the fridge as a fun surprise for Mariah after school. My bottles are in the canner. I'm sitting here wearing a new apron. It says, what does it say? Coffee, right, meow. It has cats on it. I was on a whim, I added it to my Walmart grocery order. I'm like, you know what? Yes, yes. This is what mama needs right now. And after the coffee, the decaf coffee fiasco last week or whenever it was, and then with all the whatever stuff lately, <laughs> The wasps. Yeah. A fun new apron. Why not? Why not? You guys know I love aprons. Anyway, they're boiling away in the kitchen. I'm watching, re-watching for like the 800th time some of my Midsummer Murders. Um, I got some black nail polish in my order from Walmart, going to paint my nails. We are almost to September. So I've got some gardening to do out front. I'm going to have to have the kids help me with that. And yes, I will have my EpiPen and I will only go out in the early morning to hopefully avoid our little friends, the wasps. Um, and at the first sign of them, I'll hightail it back into the house. But uh, I'm going to hit up the garden shop tomorrow and pick up a couple of plants. We have perfect planting weather coming up this week with um, like the last of some storm coming in. So going to do some planting, pull weeds and whatnot, and get the front yard all tidied up, all the gardening stuff done, new topsoil, new mulch, so that 
<laughs> Wait for it! So that we can start Halloween! <laughs> Hey, whatever helps you hold on to your sanity, frugal friends, and you know Halloween and Disney are what do it for me. And now we start the peaches. So I'm gonna blanch them, then um, I'm getting an ice bath ready, and we'll peel them, and don't worry, these will get cleaned up and pretty and labeled. Um, and I'm just going to put them in syrup for now. I also might make some compote, since the pineapple compote, compote was so freaking delicious. But uh, that'll probably have to be with the next round of peaches when they're ripe. They're all just sitting around getting ripe. But these ones that are already ripe, I'll save a couple of them out for eating. And the rest, we'll just go ahead and slice them up and put them in with syrup. I have an amazing family. They are so good to me. I had almost gotten done with the peaches. I still had, I think, one more batch to do of, um, I was doing like nine peaches at a time because that's what the recipe called for. And um, I was starting to get so dizzy and just headache. You know, when you're waiting for all the venom to work its way through your body, especially after like a multiple sting incident, it, it can be rough getting over it. And I absolutely overdid it yesterday on the peaches. But um, I had gotten them started and then I, I went in the other room. I don't, or I went to the bathroom. I don't know. I did something and came back in and James, my sweet darling, he had taken over and was finishing the peaches for me. And he did. He finished the peaches for me. All I had to do was put them into the canner. And now they're done. Until the rest of them ripen. Uh, we only did the ones that were already ripe and ready to go. So, so grateful. You know, we're a team. That's what it comes down to. We are a team. Uh, I had the kids go and pick apples. There's still tons of apples on the tree that we'll need to get to, but we're going to have to use the ladder to get to those. And we will be working on that um, throughout the rest of this week. Uh, but I will be starting here on the apples doing apple butter, which is delicious. Uh, possibly some apple jelly, but probably not. Most likely just apple butter and apple pie filling and, and those kinds of things. Maybe some apple compote. I'm also going to be doing peach compote, but I've got to wait for more of the peaches to be ready. They're just ripening in boxes right now. But, um, something on my tooth. Um, <laughs> it's been good. We got a lot done. Be sure to check the, um, video description for links to the recipes that I used on uh, these different bottling canning projects. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day.